Hello and welcome back to Linus and Chuck, where today I'll be teaching you the back rip to back rip wrist drill. However, instead of teaching it to you like I normally do by standing in front of you like this, I'll be showing it to you from a first person perspective. This is a new style of tutorial that I'm trying out, so if you like this concept or don't, be sure to leave your feedback in the comments below. So here we are. Start out by holding on your nunchucks in a back grip so that if you stick out your thumb, you're pointing the end part of the nunchuck and not the chain part of it. This is important because you'll be starting and ending in this position, so you know you've done it right if you end up like this each time. From this position, take the nunchuck that you're swinging and bring it up and across the top of your wrist like this. Your nunchuck should be hanging downwards between the nunchuck that you're holding onto and yourself. Next, release the nunchuck that you're holding onto and allow your nunchucks to simply roll down and stay on your wrist like this. From this position, you'll be turning your hand and allowing it to grab the nunchuck which you were originally not holding on to in a back grip yet again. From here, all you have to do is swing the other end around and you've completed your back grip to back grip wrist roll. So once again, start out in a back grip and bring the nunchuck that you're swinging across the top of your wrist like this between the nunchuck that you're holding on to and yourself. Then release the nunchuck that you're holding on to and allow your nunchucks to simply hang downwards going across the top of your wrist like this. From here, turn your hand and grab the nunchuck which you were originally not holding on to in a back grip before swinging the other end around and having your completed move. Repeat the pattern of swinging your nunchuck across, releasing, switching, and then swinging the other end around. If you keep repeating those steps, you'll be able to piece them together and start performing the move. So now that we've gone over those steps, here's the move in slow motion and at normal speed. You can also make this move continuous by keeping the momentum of the nunchuck going, allowing you to continue spinning. So I hope that you found this style of tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future, and go check out some of the other various nunchuck related tutorials that I have on my channel.